So occasionally I'm asked, uh, what lessons did I learn from my service with Kenyan Brothers in uh, the Kibera Slum in Nairobi, Kenya, that I carried with me as a Marine in Bosnia, the Horn of Africa, and Iraq. And in 2001, Kenyan colleagues and I established Carolina for Kibera as a nonprofit organization designed really to use sports to prevent violence in Kibera. About three months later, I reported to duty at uh, Officer Basic Training in Quantico, Virginia. On September 11th, uh, my fellow 200 second lieutenants and I were put on alert. And we knew at that moment that our life trajectories had dramatically changed. I stayed involved as a volunteer, continued to lead Carolina for Kibera as a, as a Marine. And that involves almost daily contact with uh, our executive director on the ground, Salim Mohammed, who was a TED Africa fellow. And the lesson that I've learned that's most important in my mind from Salim and, and my other Kenyan colleagues is to listen well. You know, listening well is a skill. It's crucial in both community development and counterinsurgency. In 2005, I arrived in Fallujah eight months after some of the most intense uh, fighting of the war. Patrolling the streets for the first time, I was reminded of old World War II photographs of Dresden. I spent a lot of time working with the Fallujah City Council, which thanks in large part to uh, the efforts of a State Department officer, uh, had begun to govern. We listened intently to what was being said and how it was presented. Oftentimes the private messages differed from the public ones, and understanding the nuances and the subtleties be between the various messages was critical to um, building the base of political support that was essential to undermining a local insurgency. I learned how to ask better questions in Kibera as well. On one particular convoy, we had received a box of stuffed animals from a local charity in the United States. And when the convoy stopped, Iraqi children came up to the convoy, and much to, the, to their delight, the Marines started handing out these stuffed animals. But I looked off in the distance, and there was a, an old Iraqi man with a spiteful look beneath, standing beneath a, a date tree. And so I, uh, my linguist and I walked over to him, and I said, Sir, you look frustrated. Is everything all right? And he said, no, everything is not all right. You are insulting us. You should be giving the toys to the fathers, not to their children. Of course, he was right, and so we changed our behavior, and perhaps we left that man a little more tolerant to our efforts. You know, listening well and asking better questions, I think it's a lot about what we're here as a take community. It's certainly a lot about what I learned from my Kenyan brothers in Kibera over the last eight years. And I tried to take that knowledge with me as a Marine in combat and minimize the damage to both my Marines and civilians. I think that as a nation, um, we can deal much more effectively with the problems that we face both at home and abroad in troubled places like Iraq and Afghanistan. I think we can ask better questions, more questions of those who seem to oppose us. We can listen more carefully to what they say and how they present it to us. And I am hopeful. I am hopeful that we will do this in the months and years to come. Thank you.